My research mainly focuses on vulnerable road users and we consider vulnerable road users to be people that aren't protected by a shell. So cyclists, motorcyclists, pedestrians. If you're a vulnerable road user, you are more at risk of sustaining an injury. Consequences of injury are both the physical aspects, but also maybe long-term mental health impacts as well. People are living longer. We've got more elderly people. You know, we've got to make it safe for them. And I think that's a big investment. If we encourage active lifestyles, getting people out on their bikes or out walking, making it um, safe for children to play, that's a benefit to everybody. We've got a lot of difference in shared space. So cars have got wider and bigger. So you're narrowing the space available to cyclists. And so we need to be thinking other ways. We need to be thinking of the green use of traffic as well e-scooters as well they're really becoming quite popular they're sharing spaces with our pedestrians and cyclists but also sharing spaces on the road so actually where are these people supposed to be we need to figure that out as well investing in our vulnerable road users is an investment into society it's an investment into prevention of injuries and also the investment into preventing long-term health consequences in terms of meaningful results a lot of our research actually goes into informing policy and changing policy for the better